We're today going to look at creating the motorcycle axle from chapter 2. So this is the drawing. It's a relatively simple shape. We have a bolt that's 9.5 inches long from the head to the tip. We have a 1-inch uh, diameter um, on this uh, the main axle portion and a hex head uh, flat width of 0.72 inches. So the first step here is going to be just to extrude the bolt body. Um, to do that, we're going to start with an IPS part. Um, then we're going to create an extruded boss on the front plane with these dimensions. We've got 1 inch diameter and 9.5 inches long. So in our newly created part, um, we're going to select Document Properties, Unit, IPS. And then we're going to create an extruded boss on our front plane. And then from here, we'll draw a simple circle anchored to the sketch origin. We'll use smart dimension to create a um, diameter of one inch, then confirm that value. Then we're going to specify in our extrude depth, we want 9.5 inches. Hit enter to accept. You can see that we have approximately the correct profile. We'll accept this part, and now we have the bolt body. Our next step is to create the bolt head, which is going to be a separate extrusion, and we're going to use the polygon tool to simplify the process. So again, we want to use extruded boss slash base. We're going to draw on this face. Um, we're going to use normal two. That's uh, in our view settings here, and that will align us to our sketch plane. And now we're free to draw our polygon. So we're going to use this polygon tool in the sketch menu. Um, and by default, we're going to have six. And so we have two choices of circle here. We've got inscribed circle and circumscribed circle. So in this case, we're going to want inscribed circle. And then we just draw our polygon. And now um, we can constrain this very easily using our Smart Dimension tool again. We want on this face um, 0.72, I believe. We'll just check real quick. Um, yes, 0.72. And finally, we want to apply a vertical constraint between the corner here and the center point. So we can make that vertical now just by control selecting each of these points. Um, and after I apply that vertical constraint, we can see this is completely specified. Now, one minor thing here, you want to make sure you're specifying an aligned dimension. Um, if You can see there that, like before, if you specify a horizontal dimension, if the sketch were to rotate, um, this it might not update, and you'll get not a true size. So we confirm our sketch. We then will quickly check here. We've got a, uh, a bolt head height of 0.5. So we're going to specify that here. Um, hit check. And now we have our bolt. So this is 95% of it. The very last step is to specify a cosmetic thread. The way we insert a cosmetic thread is through the insert menu down in annotations. Finally, cosmetic thread here. So we're going to create a cosmetic thread, um, and we want to uh, draw that on the end here. Um, and so this is going to be standard machine threads. Let's again check our drawing. Um, so we want. Uh, 1 inch dash 12, so that's 12 threads per inch, and it's going to be 0.75 inches deep. So here, um, that's 1 dash 12, and we're going to do blind 0.75. We're going to create cosmetic threads next on the end of the bolt, um, and that's because typically threads are uh, a complex feature to model directly and because of their small surface size ends up being not all that useful um, to model as solid features. 
Um, generally, threads are standard, so it's it's enough to simply represent them as a, a surface uh, drawing. So to do that in our SolidWorks menu, we're going to go to Insert, and then down to Annotations, click Cosmetic Thread, and then select the uh, outside edge of um, uh, of the end of the bolt, and that's where the thread is going to start. Um, and so then we're going to specify 1-12 as our thread size. We want to do a blind thread of 0.75, um, and then with that, we will accept, and we can see that the thread appears um, as this shaded representation of a thread on the end. So to make sure you see this, um, this thread as a shaded surface, you need to make sure in your document properties, which you can get to by right-clicking on your document, um, that in detailing, shaded cosmetic threads are displayed. So you can see you can control what is represented in this document. Um, all these different types of dimensions, datums, etc. So we're just making sure that shaded cosmetic threads is checked. Once you have that, you have the complete bolt model.